Hello again everybody, it's Sean here and welcome to another vlog with JC's Home Finds. It's not always simple to just buy a handbag. It's always overwhelming. Even more so when you're deciding whether or not you're gonna get that handbag that you saw online because it looks good, it looks stylish, and it's everything you want in a bag. Also, to add even further to your hesitations, you might ask these questions. Will I use these often? Is this really my style? Why would I even use these expensive bags anyway? You get the idea. That is why today we'll be sharing with you a short history and the common types of handbags in order for you to identify which is which to match your good taste on bags. But wait, before we get started, make sure you press that like and share button and subscribe to JC's Home Finds Vlogs for weekly content and uploads. Roll in the introductions! Dating as far back as the 38,000 BCE, our ancestors used pouches to carry around food and tools. The very first handbag was a drawstring purse, which is worn on a belt by women and men. This bag became so popular that the trend reached the age of Rome all the way to another thousand years later to the Renaissance period. During the 1700s, women had pockets, which are tied around their waist and under their skirts. And yes, they were considered as undergarments back then. Later on, with their dress styles changed to the all the more simpler and slimmer designs, women began carrying them around as small bags which are now known today as the handbags. With the evolution of handbags, there came shoulder bags, clutch bags, purse, totes, shoulder bags. There are a lot of different types of bags used to carry around stuff today. So what are these different types? Let's start off with the smaller ones, the clutches and evening bags. These may be your most favorite and go-to types of bags because they're basically made for your day-to-day -day and nightly hangouts. They are baglets that you hold or clutch with the absence of their strap to hang on your shoulders. The difference between the two is that the evening bags are fashioned with beads, sequins, fine fabric likes with metallics and satins. Perfect to match for your elegant formal dress. Speaking of elegance, we have the crossbody bags. These types have their distinctively medium or long slim straps to let you wear the bag across your body. Oftentimes, you'll favor the ones with the chain strap because you might want to look more classy and dressy from the shoulders down. Speaking of shoulders, you do not want to get confused with this one because it is called the shoulder bag. These are basically considered as the workhorses among the handbag types because it is the ultimate bag for the busy you. Same as with crossbody, they have straps long enough to cover your shoulder. Only difference is they have adjustable straps most of the time. Plus, it looks more casual. Furthermore, with the shoulder bag, we have its sister that is the bucket bag. With an unstructured, casual look, bucket bags are another type of shoulder bag. It comes with a variety of sizes and some even have backpack straps on them. With ample room for pockets, these types make a good addition for your summer wardrobes. Now we're moving forward with the slightly bigger mamas here with the satchel bags. They are often wide in shape with flat interiors and double handles. They tend to be very close to classic build and design while keeping the feminine look that's reminiscent of a doctor's bag. They have handles that are short enough to either be held on your hands or tucked under your arm. They may also come with a shoulder strap which can make do for day-to-day -day necessities. Next up is the slouchy hobo bag. They may look floppy, but that's exactly what puts them apart from the other handbags. With their bohemian feeling that looks youthful, they are the best bags for a casual weekend. Straps are long enough to wear over your shoulders, loosely shaped but hugs your body like a baby to her mother. Hobos are usually large enough to last the day. Last but not the least with the list of our common types of handbags, we have the tote and the shopper bag. Need a room for more? Then these are for you. Made from the finest canvas twills, leathers, and partnered with a rectangular build and shape, they are the perfect choice for those who can't leave their houses behind. Heavy duty and built to the core of its function, it could store almost everything you wish to bring with your outdoors. Some are open and compartments with a lot of storage pockets inside for your keys, smartphones, utility, and anything else you may need to survive for the day. They may have a handle too, which are long enough to be hanging on your shoulder as well. 
There are many more other bag types and truth be told, we cannot fit them all in just one video. In fact, there are over 38 handbag types and over 100 types for all classifications of bags. Just as I said earlier, this could be very overwhelming but I do hope that with this knowledge, you could help pick the best one for you. You know what they say? Don't let them tell you that you don't need another bag because you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Friends are not negativities in life. They're just gnome enemies. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much once again for joining me with JC So Vlogs. I'll see you in the next video. Stay fabulous as always.